Hey guys, how you doing today? I'm David Mathis. Thank you guys for tuning back into my channel. I appreciate your guys' support. It has been tremendous. If you guys are enjoying the content on the channel, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share. Hit that little notification button so you know when new videos are coming out. Today's topic video is all about creatine. Now creatine is one of the most popular and it's the most studied supplement in the, um, amongst exercise scientists. The reason it is so popular and the reason it's so studied is because we're finding more and more benefits from the use of creatine. Um, it is probably the only supplement other than whey protein that I would actually suggest to my clients to take. Um, the other ones just don't seem to have as much benefit as they claim to have. Now creatine is uh, naturally produced in the body to some extent, but we also have to get it through our diet, um, through animal products, you know, steaks, chickens, meats, dairy, eggs, things like that. Um, but when we cook meats and we cook that food, certain creatine value of it is lost during the cooking process. Now, if you're a vegan, vegetarian and stuff, you're obviously not getting a lot of creatine from your diet. So creatine supplementation is even more important to you. Um, now, creatine does not just help with muscular contractions and energy. It also helps with cognitive functioning from what we're finding. Um, the three energy sources that make up our body are the aerobic, um, anaerobic, and the phosphocreatine, okay? So we all know that aerobic is responsible for longer duration, right? Anaerobic is responsible for shorter durations, uh, approximately 30 seconds to a minute and a half, two minutes, things like that. Phosphocreatine is what gets everything kick-started, okay? That is the first initial burst, no matter what kind of activity you're doing. That first like one to 10 seconds um, is fueled by phosphocreatine, which is why it is so important for um, athletes who participate in uh, like powerlifting, uh, bodybuilding, um, track, football, basketball, those types of explosive sports where you need that fast muscle contraction and that fast energy source. Now, um, going back to vegans a little bit and their diet, um, a lot of vegans don't want to take creatine because they know it comes from animal sources. However, most creatine supplementation is actually, um, it's actually synthetically made in a lab. So you're okay. Vegans, vegetarians, you don't have to worry about going against your, you know, way of eating and stuff um, because you think the creatine is coming from an animal source. The supplementation uh, creatine is synthetically made in a lab for the most part. So you are okay. Um, but going back to the energy system. So phosphocreatine is responsible for uh, the first one to 10, maybe one to 15 seconds of an all out activity, which is why supplementing and making sure that you have enough of it um, in your body is very, very important. Now, how much do you need to have? There's a lot of talk um, about creatine loading. And creatine loading is basically doing about 20 to 30 grams um, a day for almost a week, about five to six days, and then resorting back to the recommended five grams a day, okay? Now, also people wanna talk about cycling creatine. Um, do you need to ever come off of it to, you know, um, resynthesize your body to take it back up again and use it. You do not, okay? You do not need to cycle off of creatine. Um, you can take it five grams a day, every day for the rest of your life. It is not going to hurt you, okay? That is the recommended dose though. And what I would tell people and what I tell clients is do not um, try to load creatine. Definitely don't cycle off of it. Just stick to a consistent five grams a day. Um, now it might take you a couple more weeks for your body to actually uptake it and be utilizing it. Usually it takes about two to four weeks when you're doing it that way. Um, but those extra few weeks that you are losing um, aren't really going to be that big of a deal, right? As a, compared to if you're loading creatine. Um, so I would just stick to the, the five grams a day, every day, be consistent with it. Um, Another kind of criticism of creatine is that people think it, it makes you retain water. And it does, but not in the way that you're really thinking about, all right? Creatine actually draws water into the muscle cell, okay? That's what gives it its that full look, 
um, pushing against the skin. The creatine draws the water into the cell. And when it's in the cell, that's when you can provide and produce more energy for your athletic performance. So do not um, fear the water weight from creatine. It doesn't matter if you are you know, prepping for a show or whatever like that, you do not have to cycle off of creatine. Um, creatine is gonna help give you that full look and it's also going to help your performance and your intensity in the gym. Now creatine itself is not gonna like um, absolutely make you a lot stronger or anything like that, but what it's gonna do is it's gonna provide your muscles with the energy to push harder in the gym. So you still have to do the work, okay, in order to get strong and in order to get, um, grow muscle. But the creatine allows you to do that extra work, okay? So basically in all, creatine is a, a wonderful supplement to take. Uh, there's nothing harmful about it. Um, you are gonna find cognitive functioning, you're gonna find muscular and athletic performance um, increases. Main takeaways, five grams a day, consistently. Um, do not load. All you're doing is basically just gonna waste money, okay? You're gonna be taking in way too much creatine, and when that creatine is um, oversaturated in your body from taking so much, the 20 to 30 grams, it kinda just sits in your gut, right? And then all that water goes right to wherever that creatine is. So that's when you're gonna get like digestive system issues because all that creatine and water is just sitting in your, right there in your gut, okay? In your intestines, that's not what you want. Be consistent with it, be patient with it. Doing the five grams a day is going to take about two to four weeks for your body to actually start utilizing the benefits from the creatine, but you never have to cycle off of it. You can keep it as part of your regimen no matter if you're prepping or if you're just wanting to take it for gym performance. Um, I hope this helped a little bit, guys. Creatine is a wonderful sub, uh, supplement. I highly suggest it if you are um, someone who is interested in resistance training, bodybuilding, powerlifting, or if you're an athlete, um, definitely, definitely look into supplementing that with you because in your diet alone and what your body produces isn't gonna be enough to actually see the benefits that uh, supplementation can give you in the gym. So, hope this helps, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, please like, subscribe, and share. Hit that little notification button, and I'll be back with you um, with another video soon. Take care.